So Sabine, we just had an interview about uh, Senegal in 2018, uh, but as a regional technical specialist, you also cover Benin. So can you give us some highlights about Benin in 2018? What did we achieve there and how did the market evolve? Benin is an amazing market for us. We've been able to work well, both in improving access to digital financial services, but also developing the right value propositions mm -hmm. for customers. Uh, specifically, our focus is on rural areas and how do we develop agent networks that can serve the rural consumers. With our partnership with the Cash Zone, we are deploying 500 uh, new rural agents mm -hmm. in Benin, and we are really happy to see that uh, these agents are active and uh, doing transactions. And it hasn't been our only work on to real agents. We've moved, it's like move as well, we've been doing work with them to improve mm -hmm. uh, uh, the agent network development into rural areas and share some best practices mm -hmm. in, uh, in this arena. Now, when we go beyond access, we're really looking at value proposition. Mm -hmm. And 2018 is a year of first for us in Benin. Mm -hmm. First integration between uh, my, my mm -hmm. microfinance institution, Alide, and a mobile network operator, MTN, to offer bank to wallet uh, facilities to customers. So today, as an Alide customer, mm -hmm. you can repay your loan from your business. You do not need to go to the agency. And you can also... Um, so straight from your phone? Straight from your phone. Okay. You can receive your loan into your wallet directly, and you can repay your loan through your wallet. So saving time, saving cost, and being more efficient in how you handle your and that's not all. When we're looking at also first, we venture into looking at uh, digital payment opportunities into the uh, motor taxis a group, a group of uh, vulnerable customers as well. Most of which have excluded from the uh, traditional financial uh, ecosystem. And working with MTN and looking at innovative payment system with um, using your phone and uh, your NFC communication mm -hmm. payments, distance payment. Uh, and see to what extent we can provide the right value proposition or the mix of value proposition for the Zemijans with also 20 applications. On top of the projects with the Zemijan, um, you have also a project that continues extending the network of agents, isn't it? That is true, indeed. Uh, as we are, uh, we've worked with microfinance institution in the digital transformation, we're also partnering with bank into uh. their digital transformation. Mm. Indeed, with a partnership with mm. EcoBank, in Benin, we are looking at uh, agency banking. How mm -hmm. do we leverage a network of agents to provide banking services uh, via the mobile application Express Cash that EcoBank is uh, um, offering in mm -hmm. Benin? So that's also another opportunity for us to build on, you know, uh, the right agent network and the right infrastructure to uh, mm -hmm. um, improve access to banking. So you have more customers now in Benin, you have more agents, so the, the ecosystem is building up. And I've heard you have this new fantastic project that's uh, very exciting for us, that's the first we're, we're engaging in, which is in health. Can you tell us a little bit more about that, even though it's just, just starting? Absolutely. At the core, what we're looking at is the, the value proposition. What's the value proposition for customer? And we know access to basic services, mm -hmm. particularly health, health mm -hmm. in itself is uh, very challenging in Benin. Mm -hmm. And so we are really partnering with, um, Go it's a project called Go Medical. We're mm -hmm. partnering with a FinTech OpenSea to leverage a M Health application, mm -hmm. whereas you and I can leverage this health to have access to um, a list of uh, doctors to make appointment and to also for uh, a visit with the doctor for families that are in those remote areas. So we're really looking at um, the opportunity to facilitate access to health and to leverage mobile payment and distant payment to make health services available into areas, remote areas. Is it also distant consultation? No, the consultation is with a doctor, but mm. I could pay for my grandmother in her village to go see a doctor without her having to come to town and get the money from me and go back to the village. That's super. As simple. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, that's that's a very exciting project, so we hope to hear from it soon, early 2019. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you.